Hey, how's it going? It's Adrienne Elise. Happy new moon. Um, tonight is the new moon in Sagittarius. It's getting ready to happen in about six hours from now, from when this is live. And so I wanted to just uh, talk to you about the energy of this new moon and what's happening right now. Huge shift of energy. I'm sure you're feeling it as it's always um, a shift as we head into this darkest time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere in the winter solstice. But this year, because this, that's when the sun moves into Capricorn, but this year uh, Saturn is moving home in Capricorn. And so it's, we're just really feeling it. And you, it's kind of a, um, a palpable feeling of this shift and this kind of uncomfortable a lot of people are just kind of feeling like we all kind of have a lot of emotions come up at this time of year anyway uh, but we are getting very grounded in reality right now and the thing about it um, saturn is our reality planet home in capricorn and it's an earth sign and it's about coming home and coming into our body the thing is is like when we do that we have to look at all of the places we've been avoiding or running from you know coming home is like facing all of the stuff from our past and things that we've been running from running away so this capricorn energy is hitting pretty heavy but we can use it to our advantage uh because we can already feel the saturn moving into capricorn and that happens tomorrow where Saturn moves into its home sign. And the sun follows, um, so that happens actually on Tuesday, yeah. So um, on Tuesday the 19th, Saturn moves into Capricorn. And then on Thursday the 21st, the sun moves into Capricorn. And Saturn and the sun come into a conjunction. And it's kind of a big message from the universe saying, okay, we're coming home now and what does this mean and it's different for all of us individually because of how it affects our chart but we all have saturn in our chart and we all have capricorn so we're all feeling this reality check going on now when we go into a reality check place and our reality isn't very clear um what's going on in the world and our own psyche it's a very strange time right now and so we're being called to ground out and so you can really use if you can use this earth energy this transition to earth energy because it kind of feels like cruising along on that sagittarius energy all these planets in sagittarius and now it's like bam the moon right after this new moon moves into capricorn bam the next day saturn moves home in capricorn the sun and then venus on christmas day Venus will join Capricorn. So this is like, it just feels like maybe um, life is kind of tripping itself up. And, it, and so the thing is, is that if we can use this energy to our advantage, which is very challenging in the holiday mayhem, which we have traditionally used as a way to avoid our reality, right? You know, so it's like, okay, we're feeling dark and it's getting cold. So let's put some Christmas lights up and, you know, it's beautiful. I love to celebrate the season, but it's really important that we understand that um, this, festival of these times of years have become distractions from our inner psyche this year not so much we've got to come home and get real and so the more you can allow time for that that um this earth energy is about heavy emotions that have not been able to move now we're helped along with this energy with jupiter and mars and scorpio bringing that water energy but at the same time it's going into the depths of the shadow and Mars is like putting that motor on the boat that's going into the underworld and at the same time all this earth energy is sobering us up bringing us down to earth and kind of putting in a place as in a place where we kind of have to face and deal with what we haven't been facing and dealing with now this can be really good for the world because it's time to just get a handle on um, this crazy world that we live in and the changes that need to happen in our structures and we're going to be feeling this too so so basically if you could just look at this next week of time as um, a huge kind of a trip up feels like we're cruising along and all of a sudden we got mercury retrograde we've got all these planets moving to capricorn saturn coming home and, and it's kind of like 
falling on your face, tripping over these timelines, um, these confusion energies in our lives. But the whole point of it is to come home, ground out, and come into a reality, a, a reality that we can grasp and hold on to and live true in our integrity. So if you can take time to process these emotions, so it may be writing, expressing, journaling, talking through it, grounding yourself out with how you feel, letting this energy move in your life. Also getting really organized. And it's a hard time of the year with all of this energy going on to grab a hold of something. Um, and so whatever you can do, it's a great time to maybe work on a craft project and just bring yourself, instead of distracting yourself with the media and TV or in the internet and um, artificial technology, bring yourself into nature, bring yourself home into the moment. And that's what this activation is going to be about. It's about landing home on your appropriate timeline. And at first it feels like things are, we're just kind of tripping over these timelines and falling on flat on our face. But um, the point of all of this astrology right now is to come home to our bodies, come home to our reality, come home and be the truth of who we are. And um, so action right now is not so important. Mercury is going to turn direct on the 22nd. That's next Friday. But until then, we're kind of like in this strange stasis place. We're like waiting for the shift of ages that's been happening, this Capricorn energy shift. It's happening this week, but we're not really gonna feel it until the sun and Saturn come together and um, on Thursday and Mercury turns direct on Friday. And so we are just catapulting right into this holiday season and the winter solstice with all of this energy bringing us home to ourselves, bringing us home to what really matters, clear out the clutter of your life. This is a great time. This is what's gonna make you feel better is to take time to yourself, to process your emotions, um, to express how you're feeling and to organize your life. And don't worry too much about taking big steps right now. Those will come. Um, the new moon is always, the Sagittarius new moon is happening today. And the new moon is always about new beginnings, but this is a huge new chapter and it's kind of a weird juxtaposition because we've got still Mercury and Venus in a Sagittarius and the sun still in Sagittarius and but all getting ready to move into Capricorn and so Mercury and Venus are close and also making a beautiful trine with the North Node but with this new moon on the galactic center our destiny calling us home to reality calling us home to our spiritual destiny calling us home to get real with what's going on in the world then we have Mercury and Venus trining the North Node the North Node is our future karma in Leo it's about how are we getting there that's through creative self-expression so this is a time to dream and to vision um, this new moon energy, but also to ground out, get organized, and let fall away the unessential things of life right now. This is a really important time to take that me time to ground out, get organized, and just clean house of what is no longer serving you. And that's emotionally what you've been holding on to. A lot of us are having intense, deep emotions, traumas come up from past lives or from early experiences in this life. that We don't really know where this is coming from. And so it's like our, our self-care regimen, what's going on right now requires us to be completely present as much as we can with what's happening to make the most of this potent and powerful time as we transition into our optimal timeline going from existing and multiple dimensionals, that's kind of the energy of Sagittarius. It's kind of like, whoa, I'm over here and I'm over here and I'm way out there and I'm, you know, and then all this earth energy landing home and um, Saturn, the moon leading the way as Saturn comes home into its home sign of Capricorn. And now Capricorn's the mountain goat. And there's an element of Capricorn that represents going beyond the limits of this physical world. Saturn is the last planet 
of the smaller planets, the, inter the personal planets, the transpersonal planets are beyond Saturn. So Saturn represents this gateway, this initiation, this are you ready to go to the outer realms? And um, Saturn, Capricorn, that's why Saturn's the testing planet, the karma duty planet, because it's like, are you ready? Are you on the right path? Are you completely, do you have all of your bags packed, <laughs> you know, um, to go on this big journey of initiation? But the mountain goat, I don't know if you've seen them, but they can do crazy stuff just clinging to the edge of the mountain as if they can just completely overcome gravity. Like gravity just doesn't really exist for them. This is the energy of Capricorn we need to tap into as all these planets move into Capricorn. Is It's like we are being asked to go beyond what has been told, we've been told is humanly possible. And, and that with all this Scorpio energy, Jupiter and, and Mars and Scorpio, that means we're going beyond what we thought we could handle emotionally and spiritually as we step into this new chapter where the, the, the wrongs are getting righted. The wrongs of our life are getting righted. The wrongs of our society are getting righted. But when you first, in order to right those wrongs, you have to face the truth. And that's just what's going on right now is kind of finding this shadowy depth within ourselves that we've been avoiding and having to come home and sit in that muck until we can clean it up. So that action you can take around getting organized, taking time for yourself, journaling, expressing, uh, being in nature, ground out as much as you can to the natural world and to the true reality because things in our world are really crazy right now and we don't know what's reality out there you got to go find reality in here this is the mountain goat this is the initiation of the star seed and the indigo souls saying hey now you're called to be here now you're called to be home on earth and bring all the parts of yourself here, land on your most appropriate timeline and make, build a new world. So Saturn is that bridge planet to the transpersonal planets, the planets that are the out there planets that uh, affect our collective consciousness. And so Saturn in Capricorn is this, the earth sign, it's the mountain, it's about building a bridge to a wider understanding of the truth. And, but in order to do that, you can't just build a bridge. You've got to build, you've got to design the bridge. You've got to make sure that it can withstand the pressure of what that bridge is going to have, uh, have to go through. You have to make sure that um, the elements can uphold this bridge and support, you know, the earth can support this bridge. And so this is where we are right now. We're trying to find some footing in this world and um, stuff is weird out there. I don't know if you've noticed the headlines coming through and, um, but um, we are on the edge of this, uh, this new reality and Saturn and Capricorn marks up big chapter. So what we're going to do today in the activation is just to take an opportunity to tap in to this energy of coming home, of not tripping over all of these parts of ourselves that have been existing in other frequencies and, and, and avoiding planet Earth at all costs through substances, distraction, holiday distraction, um, media distraction. It's like, no, time to come home, time to land, put the pin down. Put the pin down and start building the foundation of your bridge to your future because it's happening now. And you are, this is kind of crazy, but you as a starseed and indigo who's barely been able to hang on to this physical reality, you are here to now be the structure of the new reality we're building. You got to ground out and get your shit together and be present here for this most important time on planet earth. And that means some radical changes around how you may have lived your life. And it starts right now by instead of falling down, put that pin down, ground yourself out, get organized and rewrite your this time of year is perfect as we move into a new year to rewrite your schedule, rewrite what's important, and, and and start to build this foundation and understand that in the old world, you were flailing 
and barely able to deal with physical reality. In the new world, you are the security of the reality. And so star seeds and indigos are, if you haven't already been getting your butt kicked, it's like now is the time to um, really be come home. And what's in the way of that is this being out in too many timelines, just parts of you existing in different frequencies, dimensions, trauma, parts of yourself, suppressed trauma, compartmentalized away. It's time to integrate all parts of the self, come home to planet Earth. The energy of 2018 um, in Chinese astrology is the brown earth dog. And part of the symbology of that year is that it is a picture of the sun dropping behind the mountain. And what that's really saying is that it's time for the sun, the light, the truth of who we are to penetrate through the mountain, awaken the mysteries and the magic that's underneath the mountain. These mounds of ancient artifacts left from higher evolved beings and who we were, who were us before on the planet earth and and delving into the mysteries that are underground hidden from us and shining the light through the mountain be the mountain goat that overcomes all physical restriction to be able to climb up that side that's what we're doing and what we're here now to do so just know that like there is a lightness of being available for us right now, but it's very different energy and we need to work for it. We need to grab a hold of it and we need to be the light and be the structure of support. So the structure of support for the bridge that we're building to our new world is the star seeds who, ha who are kind of like not that grounded in general and indigos. And it's like, okay, wait a minute. We're going from being on the fringe of society like, hmm, these, this world is, is weird and different and I'm going to go live my own way. And now to be the foundation of structural support for this new world. And so star season indigos are getting really challenged right now with life trying to fall apart, but it's actually falling together. And this incredible um, need for us to clear these suppressed emotions, uncompartmentalize this uh, PTSD, this trauma that we have experienced in past lives and other time space realities and be able to bring our whole presence home right now. And so let's go ahead and take advantage of this energy of this powerful new moon in Sagittarius right now. And so the activations, live activations, what it is, is what I'm, I've just done is talking through the astrology, allowing the messages to come that can reach you in the way that you need to hear them to help you understand what's going on right now. And the second part of the activation is a guided meditation to take advantage and reset our whole vibrational field. So today the focus is going to be moving these suppressed emotions, clearing out this trauma energy that's keeping us in multiple timelines, putting that pin down, coming home right now to present time, the only time we have, and also to be take that opportunity to be home in the now. Let's organize the, our field and get the help we need to get these clearings and activations so we can claim claim this joy, the truth of who we are. Be present in the joy, the true joy that comes from within, not from what we've been told about this season, that it's from what you get or it's from what you achieve or it's from what you manifest in the physical wor world. And this structure, this gold, this abundance is on the inside and we are here to bring it home to the planet right now. Stop making excuses or apologizing for who we are and being the structure presence of light that is the foundation for building this new world. So on that note, let's go ahead and just allow yourself to become present right here, right now, in this now moment. We're tapping into this powerful Sagittarius new moon right on the galactic center saying, hey, you guys have been flailing around for a while now, but it's time to get to work. Saturn and Capricorn. And this is going to actually, a lot of people are scared of this energy because it's so heavy and Saturn is such a task, such a, just such a 
bugger in the chart, you know, because it's like this, it feels like something's working against you. But this energy right now for indigos and star seeds, it's like, no, it's finally time to build. We finally have the energetic support to build this new world. That means you're going to feel what it feels like to get on your path. And you're going to feel excited about moving forward because finally the structures of this world can support you in who you really are. So let's go ahead and claim this now moment. The only time we have just taking a few deep breaths, paying attention to the base of your spine. And go ahead and put out a root system communicating with Mother Earth. Mother Earth, Goddess Gaia, is our planet. She is alive and vibrant. And we this, this false grid of um, confusion and misinformation and lies and technology and chemtrails and GMOs. And there is like layer upon layer upon layer of control mechanism trying to keep us trapped in this material realm. And it's a lie. So just go ahead and tap into the real earth, mother earth, goddess Gaia. She's alive and well, she's holding you. You guys, we're going together on this journey. That's the cool part of all this earth energy for 2018. We really get to connect home with mother earth and no, we're not alone. That's one of the biggest lies that we have been told is that we're all alone just trying to figure it out here, just separated um, bags of bodies, just walking around trying to figure out what in the heck is going on. It's like, no, no, no. We are all part of a bigger whole. And, we, and, and that whole, this alive, living earth, Gaia, is alive and well. It's not mechanical. It's not artificial. It's not material. It is an energetic force. And we can tap in right now. I want you to just go ahead and put this root system down deep into Mother Earth. Just this beautiful, I'm seeing like this opalescent, uh, pure white root system. You know, a lot of indigos and starseeds don't feel safe being on the planet because of how they've been targeted in previous lifetimes. This is the real messed up thing about this time we're trying to figure out because the, the control energies are able to travel out time, outside of time and space. And so the manipulation has occurred throughout lifetimes and over many thousands of years. And we're trying to be right here in this one lifetime, in this one moment and undo all of it right now. And so just go ahead and feel this purity of the truth of who you are as a star seed, as an indigo soul, and just feel mother earth receive you in a way that you haven't felt before just putting down this root system and feeling those roots just go deep into the earth and feel the love of mother earth goddess Gaia come up and around you and now you're in this beautiful white lotus go ahead and receive an energy wave a cleansing rain or snow, whatever you'd like it to be, just wash over you with this purity to remind you of who you are. Deep in the center of your being, you are pure and whole and complete. And the thing about star seeds and indigos is that they have been convinced that they have done something wrong. And, and it's like the, what's happening on the planet of the pain is somehow their fault because they haven't been able to stop it. And the indigos need to, and star seeds need to take back the purity of who they are. The other thing is that a lot of targeted souls over lifetimes, the message is that who you are in your light, trying to bring um, things that are going to help humanity, trying to bring teachings and light and love. And that was persecuted and made into a bad thing. And this is another big lie, the biggest lie. So your light and your purity is just pure, true light. There's no negative. And go ahead and just claim this back or see this energetic wave for this cleansing, healing wave from the universe, just washing over you, your heart and your soul. Just go ahead and find all of these energies of suppressed emotions, of heaviness, of trauma, compartmentalized trauma from past lives and other experiences that you're not, you're not sure. And traumas from this life too. Just let this rain wash over you and wash away, transform, heal, and harmonize 
Mother Earth has incredible transformative powers. And let her wash over you this energy, this rain, this purity. Wash over your field and wash away all of these stories of the past. All of this traumas and pain, guilt and grief from past lives that you're holding on to, but are not serving you. They're not the truth of who you are. And come into this pure white radiant light. The truth of who you are, the same as that white root system you have with Mother Earth Goddess Gaia right now. Sinking into this now moment. Feeling yourself held and safe and loved in this world. Feel Mother Earth gratitude, invitation, and love for you as a light being, bringing your light home, bringing your light home to live in this psychic, emotional, spiritual purity. The truth of who you are as a bringer of the Christ light mysteries, clearing all distortion, allowing yourself to be washed anew, clean and clear of all the stories. And just letting come to mind these, you know, maybe all of the energies that are washing away right now. Just watch the people who have hurt you, who you have hurt, the energies of holding on to these stories of the past, just wash away. You're floating in this beautiful, pure, white lotus flower, coming home to the pure essence of the Christ light available in your heart. And remember that this is why you came. And feel Mother Earth celebrating with you, welcoming you. It's safe to be on the planet as the light that you are. And it's time to come home in your body and begin to build this new world that's based on light. That's based on truth. That's based on integrity and just washing away all the stories of pain from the past as you are reborn anew. See yourself as we offer, as today's there's offered a reincarnation process. You are an innocent baby coming now new into the world. We're rewriting the reincarnation where you know your light is safe here. You know the earth loves you. You know that you are at the just the perfect time and place to have everything you need to do what you're here to do, which is be the light and come back into that innocent baby. And I'd like you to grab a hold of this innocent baby and this innocent child within you and hold this child. And I'd like you to comfort this child there together, rocking in the arms of Mother Earth, in the lotus flower, floating on the calm waters of tranquility. I want you to comfort this child, validate how hard it's been, and go ahead and just tell this child that no matter how hard it's been, no matter what you've gone through, through all this trauma through many lifetimes, it's because of this lifetime. So you could come home right now and be the light that you are and feel this permission from your higher self to your inner infant, that it's safe, it's time to bring all of your light and it's true purity of who you are. You know you've been through many, many evolutions. You know you are above and beyond the darkness on this planet right now. You know you're here to be the light and let yourself recalibrate into this incarnation, feeling safe and held and warm, loved by Mother Earth and rocked to sleep into deep peace 
to reawaken into the light, pure, whole, and complete by your higher self. Comforting, honoring this infant, this innocent child within you that's been through so much. And people didn't understand, that people feared, that people persecuted or worked against in other lifetimes. And all these stories are going away with the past as we come right here in this now moment. And just take a few deep breaths, feeling the glow of pure white light expand around you as you float in the lotus, your higher self, your infant self, the purity of light that you are, welcomed home on planet Earth like never before. And go ahead and receive an energetic wave for this reincarnation experience and feel yourself just sink, relax, and release, releasing all fears and anxieties coming present home right now, feeling safe and held. Receive an energetic wave to reset your vibrational frequency on all levels and all bodies, all parts of you that have been triggered in fear by what's going on in the world. Knowing that what's going on is the next step in getting us home to our living, breathing, beautiful Gaia. The light landing in these powerful starseed souls on the planet right now. I've been told to play small and convinced through trauma to hide who they really are. But now it's time, time to come clean and time to release all stories of trauma. And just feel yourself rocked there by your higher self, by mother earth, your inner infant recalibrating healing, releasing, receiving back the light that you are for this beautiful homecoming. And go ahead and comfort this infant, this inner infant of pure white light that you will acknowledge and honor this white light that you will allow space in your life to nurture this beautiful, pure essence of who you are, that it's okay for you to come home now. Just taking a few deep breaths, allowing yourself to recalibrate, cleanse, heal, release, and receive back your true self right here, right now, in present time, gathering up all of the pieces of yourself that you left and other dimensional frequencies coming home into your body right here, right now. And just breathe that light into your heart. Feeling this beautiful opalescent white light expand around you. Your inner infant. your higher self and all of the earth. That you're ready to treat yourself in the way that you deserve. Honor and make space in your life for this true, pure essence of who you are. Just taking a few deep breaths. Enjoying this peace and tranquility and love and acceptance. Remembering who you really are. And Saturn coming home into Capricorn is game over for the dark side. And it's time for the light to come home and be a presence. Put the pin down on the map of your most appropriate timeline 
and feel yourself just sinking deeper and deeper into this now moment, into this peace, into this beautiful love communion with Mother Earth, Goddess Gaia, and your higher self. A sacred union. Inviting in the pure essence of who you are. Just taking a few deep breaths. Feeling that light around the whole planet expand and contract with your breath. Sending this message out to all of the other light workers, star seeds, indigos, they're struggling with staying in the light. Clearing out the closets and the shadow of past life and other dimensional trauma. Sending them the message that they are the pure white light. They're supported and held and the grid is now connected. And just breathing in air, light and prana into your heart. Breathing out all of the stories of shadow and darkness and pain. And see the earth in its reincarnation process and all of the light workers in their reincarnation process, bringing home the light right here, right now. It's finally time. And see this beautiful star light, sparkling, pure white energy grid around Mother Earth, Goddess Gaia, living and breathing light that you are a part of, you are connected, you are showing up for the role that you wanted to play here and it's finally time. And just feel your root chakra calibrating, releasing, sinking into the earth in a deeper communion than you've ever felt before. It's safe to come home to planet Earth. And it's safe to bring your light. Just taking a few deep breaths as you begin to finish up your meditation. Just taking your time as you're ready. Coming into your regular everyday awareness bringing with you this pure white light, your commitment to caring for yourself as this pure white light. And just breathing in that light into your heart. Bringing it with you here into the room that you're in your body into your everyday awareness you're bringing this light this is your reincarnation time to be home here on planet earth in your entirety guided by your higher self held by mother earth as you walk on the path the exciting path of building the bridge into the new world that you are a part of just taking a few deep breaths as you begin to complete your meditation. Feel the deep peace that's available when we connect to Mother Earth. Sending an energy wave out to your whole neighborhood, your whole state, the whole planet that this is a peaceful place based in love and we are the anchor of this reality. Go ahead and just complete your meditation. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this live activation for this new moon in Sagittarius. It's a powerful week or two ahead of us with planetary aspect after aspect after aspect leading us in 
to 2018. So keep an eye out for my 2018 video uh, so you can get kind of up to date on what's going on as we move into this incredibly new chapter. And uh, we are being prepared for that in this next couple of weeks. So look out for that more. And in this next year, I am launching my coaching business, Empowerment Coaching. Coaching is when you're ready to see real change in your life, that feeling of being on your path and living the life you were meant to live. And how do we find that? We do life visioning. We figure out what's really important to you and help you make decisions. We're going to look at your astrology transits and figure out how the planets in the sky are interacting with the planets in the, the picture in your birth chart so that you know when to act and how to act and when to sit and when to go within. And we also can go ahead and look at past life contracts that may be in the way, uh, energies that are in the way, belief systems from you taking those steps and feeling that incredible feeling of being on your path. So I hope you'll consider joining me. There's going to be 50% off coaching sessions for January and February of 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I'm Adrienne Elise. Namaste.